Welcome to another episode of Shipper War, my review of Lawless. Shipper War. When ship happens, I'm there. Now, I saw this movie last Monday at a screener, and I'm not doing a review for it until now for reasons I don't even know. I just haven't done it. So anyways, Lawless is a movie about three brothers who are bootleggers, moonshiner makers, during Prohibition and the story is basically about these three brothers who do this for a living, they make money off of it and then Guy Pierce who is a cop from Chicago comes into town and he just makes their life basically very miserable and they have to deal with it. Now this is based on a true story. Now my little issue with this film was that there was things that happened in the movie that I felt like man this stuff can get resolved so quickly if they just did away with Guy Pierce's character. Like, why didn't one of the brothers just kill him right away? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. But it's based on a true story, so I guess they're going with that. And it just, as a film, it just became really annoying at a certain point because Guy Pierce's character does, like, these ridiculous, like, messed up things to these brothers, and yet they just, like, bite their tongues and just continue on with life, like, you know, it didn't happen. But of course, you know, they get to a point where they get fed up with it and finally you're like, yes, they're finally going to do something about it. But I felt like at a certain point, they should have just done away with Guy Pierce's character because that guy was just creepy and just messed up in all kinds of ways. Now, I went into this film assuming that I was going to be completely in love with Tom Hardy's character, but believe it or not, Shia LaBeouf's and Guy Pierce's character were my favorites in this film. Guy Pierce being overall my favorite because he was just so amazing in this movie. His character was just beyond creepy and just bizarre, yet I just loved everything about the character. As for the romance in this film, there is two romances in this movie. One with Tom Hardy's character and then one with Shia LaBeouf's character. Not together, they're not together because they're brothers and it's disgusting. But they both have their own little separate romances. As to which one I favored more, I actually really like Shia LaBeouf's character's romance with a girl who I guess was Amish or, or some kind. And that whole dynamic was actually kind of funny with the whole setup of him finally getting with her or him, you know, courting her and whatnot. So I really enjoyed that one. Now, as for Tom Hardy, I thought I was really going to like his character. But the thing that really got me with his character was he hardly spoke... And whenever he would say something, he would grunt a lot. And at a, at a point, it was funny. And then after a while, it just got kind of silly. And I just wasn't appreciating it very much. So, because I just wanted him to talk, not to grunt a lot. And his character did certain things I found to be kind of annoying at certain points. But as a whole, I really enjoy this movie a lot more than I thought I would. Even though there were some things in the movie that I found completely annoying. Overall, it was still a fun movie to watch. I had a lot of fun watching it. A lot of laughs in this film. And I will definitely recommend this movie to anybody who were, you know, interested in seeing it to begin with. Or if you're a fan of any of the actors. Speaking of the actors, uh, Gary Oldman's in this movie. And I have to say, I almost forgot he was in this film after watching it. Because his scene was very short-lived to the point if you blinked you may have missed his scenes and it was very unfortunate because I was expecting so much from him in the movie and yet he was hardly in the film. Another person I want to mention is Dana Dehan or something I, can't, I don't know if I'm saying his name right he's in Chronicles. This actor Okay, when I first saw Chronicle, I, could, I honestly could not really enjoy the movie because every time I saw him come on to, onto the screen all I can think about was Leonardo DiCaprio in um, What's Eating Gilbert Grapes. And then in this movie, it was no different. Like, this kid looks so much like Leonardo DiCaprio at that age. It's just unbelievable. Like, it's almost jarring for me whenever I see him. And I get so distracted. Like, whenever he would come onto the screen, like, whatever was going on, I completely, like, zoned out. Because I kept just staring at him and just thinking... My gosh, he looks so much like Leonardo DiCaprio and what's eating Gilbert Graves. Like, I can't get over this kid. In not only the way they look, but some of their mannerisms are almost exactly the same. So, yes. This movie was good. So that is all for this episode of Ship War. Goodbye, and until next time. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It's been a long time since I've seen a really good horror movie that has scared me enough that to the point that I can't sleep at night. And I 
don't actually like horror movies like that. I like movies that make me think and movies that in some way, you know, affect me. And it's been a long time since I've seen a horror movie that's done that for me. And I was hoping this movie would go there because going by the trailer, I thought, yeah, maybe it's a possibility that this movie can actually scare me. For those who don't know much about me, here's...